We all know modern development is complex. You're coordinating database changes, backend logic, front-end state, and documentation. It's a massive cognitive load. I built this simple allowance tracker app which uses React and Firebase Firestore. And today I need to add a feature that is common but complicated, goal-based savings. This is a bunch of different tasks at once and not all AIs can handle it. That's why I partnered with Trey, the team behind Trey Solo, the responsive coding agent. It's an IDE with a fully orchestrated AI engineer that handles the entire end-to-end -end feature build. And today I'm putting it to the test. Here's what adding goal-based savings requires in my existing app. Giving this list to a simple coding assistant could lead to six different copy-paste sessions, errors, and an hour of debugging. I'm giving this entire complexity to Trey Solo. I'll be using the beta version. Okay, well first I'm going to just show you off the website. This is the allowance tracker and I use this all the time. I have some friends that use it and then some I have posts online, some other people use it too. It's open for anybody to track your kid's allowance. So we can go into here, we can add something. So I can say about $3 for candy and then we can debit and then it'll just add this to the transaction history. It'll change the total and it's automatically going to add $6 every Saturday. We can go into our settings and we can change what the weekly allowance amount is. Uh, this is the kid's dashboard. So the kid can access their own dashboard and you can see it's just at slash and then their first name here and the kid cannot make any updates. So what we want to do is make it so a kid can save for specific things. So right now there's uh, almost $200 in this account, but we it's not designated toward anything. And so we wanna make it so a kid can choose items to designate their total toward, and so they can save up for specific things. Okay, so here is Trey Solo Coder. We can use it to easily add additional features. It's perfect for deep understanding of complex tasks. So we're gonna use this to add a new complex feature to the allowance tracker application. We're gonna add a goal-based savings feature that should allow a parent to create different goals for the child and track those goals. And we're gonna create two different tasks because Solo Coder can actually run multiple tasks in parallel. Also, I want to show you that I have, we have these built-in agents, and then I created a custom agent that's perfect for UI design. So my Solo Coder agent can call the UI designer agent, and they can work together. Another thing I want to show is that I have plan mode turned on. So this will cause the agent to plan first and then act after that. So in my experience, this is gonna create a much better outcome allowing it to plan first. So I'm gonna paste in my first task here. And this one focuses on establishing the data structure, core business logic, and the necessary API layer to support the new goal-based savings feature. So we're updating the database schema, we're developing the API endpoints, and doing the balance calculation, and we're validating it against the, to the total allowance balance. So let me just start that task. So you can see it's now exploring the code base to understand the existing structure, and then it'll create a plan. But while that's thinking, I'm gonna start an all new task. And let me just paste in this here. This task focuses on building the necessary user interfaces and updating documentation to present the new feature to both the parent and child users. So basically it's doing the front end, the design, and we're gonna even use our other agent to help here. And so I will just send that. And so now this task, um, it's going to explore the current code base and developing a plan for this other task. And so I can go back between the different tasks. So I can go into this goal-based savings feature implementation, and then we can see the plan that it has. So 
yeah, this looks like a pretty good plan. I can edit the plan or send a query to optimize the plan. I'm just going to hit execute. We want to just do the plan. And now you can see it's creating a list of to-dos it has to complete to finish the plan. And let's go back to the other task, which is focusing on the front end and the user interface. It's already in the editor and making updates. And you can see it's calling the other agent. It's called the UI designer agent to help with the design. So the multiple agents can work together and each agent provides different expertise for the project. So we'll just let both these tasks run in parallel for a while and see what it comes up with. And as they run, you can see it's marking different goals as complete. It just keeps track of which, what goal it still has to implement. And at any point while we're watching this, I could actually put in a new chat message. Basically, I could interrupt the workflow with a piece of human feedback. And Traceolo is responsive. So it would instantly parse my instructions, update the remaining steps of its plan, and immediately switch, it would immediately start implementing and taking into account my new instructions into the plan that it has. Okay, now the UI designer has finished figuring out the plan so we can see the plan for the designer. And I'm just gonna skim over this, but it looks pretty good and actually pretty complicated. So we can execute that. And it creates a list of 10 to-dos that the designer is going to implement. So it's creating the goals management component, the main interface for managing all savings goals. And we'll just check in on this later. And we can see our other task has been completed. So we can close that and we can go into here to see the implementation plan. And we can also see the dips if we wanna see exactly what changed. We can actually go through each file to see what was changed in each file. But what we're gonna do now is just wait for our other task to complete and then we'll just try out the application and, and see what it comes up with. And now this is finished and we can see a list of all the things that got uh, completed. And then we can go to this artifact here, which basically shows the implementation details. We can see the files that were changed. Now let's test it out. So I'm just gonna open up a new terminal here, npm run dev. And we could open the preview right within, right within the tray application, but I'm just gonna go to this locally. But I'm just gonna open this up in Chrome and I can go to the parent dashboard. Okay, and this actually looks pretty nice. So we show the total balance and then what we're saving for goals and what's available to spend. And it even suggests consider creating a savings goal, savings goals to teach financial planning. So I'm gonna create a goal. Oh, nice, I wasn't even expecting this. Um, so it even gives us some quick ideas. I'm gonna do new bike, put some of the information, needs a bike for the description and target date. Honestly, this is way better than I was expecting. So I'm gonna do December 26th and initial amount. Let's say we're gonna put in initially $40 toward the goal. Okay, so now we have one active goal, total saves 40. We have zero completed goals. Oh, target, 35 days left. Honestly, this is amazing. This is way better than I was expecting. 20%, oh, this is the percentage of the total that's going allocated toward the goals. So I can add funds. And let's say I'm gonna add um, $30 toward the goal. Now we just need $80 remaining to meet the goal. We've saved $70. Now we have $131 left to spend. So I just added some more goals, completed a goal, and it looks pretty nice. And we'll just check out that kids page really quick. Okay, this is nice. The designer really did a lot here. Now I just want to make a modification so when you complete a goal, the money goes back into the available to spend because the parent would also add a debit when the goal was removed. So I'll just add a change. Okay, so 
space of the gold mines to go back into the available to spend after the goal is complete. Okay, now it's just updating the completion logic. Finished, so I'm just going to run the application again. So I'm going to say that we've put in $30 toward this board game. It says the save money is now available to spend on this item. Okay, great. All we need to do is go into the database and it, it doesn't retroactively make this money available to spend from previous goals, but it looks like it's working as intended. So that was great. Uh, Trey Solo almost completely one-shotted these complex two tasks that I gave it. One for the back end with the APIs, with the Firebase rules, uh, implementing all the calculation logic. And then we have the, the problem with the, the f developing the, the front end components, designing the comp uh, front end components, making this work with the existing application. So this was doing so much and it did it pretty much correct on the first try. And since I had the UI designer agent, the design was really good because I've actually done a similar project without the UI designer and it, the, the design wasn't as good as I wanted. I really think that this UI designer agent helped a lot. That turned out pretty good and I didn't have to give it many prompts. Trey Solo just figured out all the implementation across many different files and frameworks. Honestly, it made adding a new complex feature super easy. You can get pro access to Trey Solo starting at $3 for the first month so you can test its full power. The link to get started is in the description below. And thanks for watching.